Hello and welcome to my let's play of Bridge Constructor The Walking Dead. Bridge Constructor is a physics-based game in which you, well, construct bridges. <laughs> the original game has been released in 2013 and since then there have been several special editions and yeah, this is the most recent one. It has uh, been released a couple of days ago and in this one Bridge Constructor meets The Walking Dead. Um, you can get it for $8.99 at the moment. It's 10% off. Standard price is 10 bucks. So um, if you're interested, I'll put a Steam link down below in the description. But uh, yeah, for now, let's get started and build some bridges. <laughs> the world came to an end and we didn't even realize it. Okay, I guess I have to click. People got sick and died. Then started coming back. The pundits on cable news said it was all a hoax. A month later, they were dead too. Too bad. Fake news couldn't save you this time. Some refused to accept what was happening, insisted it was just fear-mongering. Then the first cities fell. Then the rest fell apart. Fast. The earth grew quiet. Humanity was now an endangered species. Those few of us who survived were terrified and lost, scavenging the remains of a world that had all but disappeared overnight. All right, a nice setup. Um, like uh, setting the atmosphere. Um, yeah, I guess uh, we start our first mission and lead the walkers over the bridge. Let's start. It was just another day in the end times. No TV, no internet, no warm water, no clean sheets and no food. Kyra? Hey, that's an anagram of Reich. <laughs> so um, I already like this character. Let's not bother with that street again. Uh, nothing left to scavenge, just dead meat walking. We might still be able to find some mats in Doc Boyle's old office. I'm not blocking the dialogue, am I? No, I'm not. That's great. Um, might still be able to find some mats in Doc Boyle's old office. There's some Miles and Kyra. Uh, and exactly what kind of medication are you hoping to get from a pro proctologist's office, old man? Pardon me for interrupting. Oh, it's Eugene. Uh, Pardon me for interrupting this prostate banter, but I currently find myself in a per perilous situation and in need of some assistance. Okay, I can't imitate Eugene, obviously. <laughs> Whoa, hold it, fella. What the heck are you thinking, sneaking up on us like this? Eugene's the name, but before we commence a lengthy tete-a-tete, -tete, I have to cut to the chase. The living dead are on my heels and I strongly urge you to ready your firearms. I'm afraid we are fresh out of guns. Ain't no shame in hiding, though. Get in that ditch. I'll build us a shelter. And keep quiet, Molotat. You've caused us enough trouble as it is. Roger that. I shall provide a helping hand, all the while keeping quiet as a church mouse on Sunday. Okay. Um... At requirements, less than 500 pieces, I suppose. So I've uh, never played any um, any bridge constructor games, so um, this is all new to me. You'll need to build a bridge to get the approaching walkers over the ditch and keep our party safe. Okay, um, let's do that then. Before you start, remove the existing wood elements. Okay, 
double click on a component or joint to remove it. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Well done, let's start building. Follow the instructions below to construct a scaffold for a bridge that matches the orange guiding lines. Press with the left mouse button on an orange construction point to start building. Release the button and move the cursor to the desired end location. Press the mouse button again to place the new component. Uh, and the right mouse button cancels the current operation. Okay. Um. Ah, okay. Guess. Okay. Um. Ah, okay. Alright, now let the walkers come and pray for the stability of those wooden planks. Will do. did well. <laughs> First mission complete, I suppose. Those things are as dumb as they are dead. I'm Kyra, by the way. I'm Miles, and you, son, would be a pretty practical companion without that runaway mouth of yours. My appreciation for the Laudatio. My capabilities are more inclined toward the theoretical, but from time to time they do prove useful. Mission completed. Okay. Got the batch. Don't know how I could have missed it. Our little family had grown. There was a lot more talk now, but we also had another mouth to feed. And the local diner wasn't about to open anytime soon. How are you folks feeling about dinner? All we've got is some sugar and the mold that's growing on it. Mold on sugar? Well, that sounds rough. Maybe we could find something to eat in this warehouse. Not to denigrate... denigrate? I don't know how to pronounce that. You, your otherwise reasonable suggested course of action. But have you factored in the danger posed by that pack of undead approaching from the loading area? Damn it, this place is swarming with walkers! The physical attributes of that cylindrical object on the upper level may be suitable for eradicating the enemy lines. Okay. You want to crush the walkers with a cable spool? Crush, eradicate, whatever. Let's get a move on. I'm starving. Use the cable spool from the upper floor to crush the pursuing walkers. Um, we go to A, they go to death. <laughs> okay, I uh, like this simplicity. Um, well, let's start the mission then. Um, okay, I... Uh, for this mission you need to build a ramp for the giant cable spool to roll down and then crush the pursuing walkers. Okay. The roadway elements are already there, but not in the correct position. Instead of erasing them, you can simply adjust them to a suitable position. Move the blue joint to the blue spot so uh, the planks match the orange guiding lines. Hold on a blue hinge point until moving mode is activated, then drag the hinge to uh, hinge point to a new position. Okay, done. Well done. As you can see, the ramp can be supported from below as there are can't be supported from below as there are only construction points at the ends of the planks. Okay? In such cases we need a self-supporting construction with arced arched scaffolds placed in a triangular formation. Not sure if it's arced or arched, but whatever. Um, uh, yeah, okay. We can do that, right? Sure. Uh, so we start here and go here and then here and then here and here and yeah, looks nice. That should work. Try it out. Will do. Nice. Achievement unlocked training day. You can't see that because uh, Steam overlays aren't being recorded, but uh, yeah, got an achievement. Yay. 
Now that we are loaded up with all this pre-packaged, preserved snacky goodness, I gotta say, that was awesome. But it was also really loud. Uh, I preferred a physics-based solution guaranteed to eliminate our adver adversaries. I did not promise against any sonic repercussions. Okay, um, got the badge again. And, um, well, let's continue to the next mission, I guess. Our supplies were taken care of, but the dead were closing in. We could only hope our new friend could come up with another crafty solution. Those fellas look like uh, look a hundred percent dead and none too friendly. How the hell do we get past them? I propose a scheme that iterates upon the proven strategy with the superior technology. I would once again draw your attention to the upper levels, where rests a formidable container. Oh yeah, up here. Uh, so someone needs to run in, release the container and crush those walkers. I don't envy whoever draws the short straw on that one. Why are you guys looking at me like that? Have no fear, we shall devise a comprehensive plan that guarantees the neutralization of all tangos and a 100% survival rate for all friendlies. You have my word. What are you waiting for, Miles? Look at that face. He gave his word. <laughs> Okay, crush the walkers. Walker's dead, and Miles goes to A. This is a tactical level. It contains waypoints where you can give your heroes commands for what to do or where to go next when they get there. Okay. In this case, you'll want to instruct Miles to go to the control panel and release the suspended container onto the walkers. Afterward, afterwards, he needs to go down the ladder and then move to the right towards area A. These instructions can be given in commands mode. Let's open it now. Miles will encounter two waypoints. The first is selected now. Okay. Note that for each waypoint you can determine up to five actions that will be executed sequentially when the hero gets there. The first action slot is already selected. A pallet with all available actions for this slot has opened directly above it. Okay. The cockwheel is only available at waypoints that are next to a control panel where a hero can activate a related object in the scene. Here it is, the suspended container. Select the cockwheel to schedule it as the first action Miles will perform when he reaches this waypoint. Okay. Nice. Now you need to tell Miles that he is supposed to what he is supposed to do after releasing the container. Well, go down the ladder, I guess. Let's see what I mean. Yeah, select down arrow. Yep, makes sense. Great. The remaining slots can be left empty. Next waypoint that Miles will encounter is at the bottom of the ladder. Select it now. As you can see, each waypoint has its own set of commands. Okay, at this waypoint nothing has been scheduled yet. Let's change this by selecting the first slot. Uh, assign the right arrow to send Miles to A. Looks great. Remember that each hero, each time a hero gets to a waypoint, an instruction must be scheduled. If one is missing, the action will pause and ask you to set an instruction. Okay. Now switch back into build mode and make a bridge for Miles to safely cross over to the first waypoint. You can switch between modes at any time. Okay, well then, let's let's build. Um, can't quite reach. Looks fine. Um, okay, should work, I think. Let's see. Oh no! <laughs> I, uh, I I didn't convert the lower things here. Huh. 
Well, at least my had reached point A, I guess. <laughs> okay, let's do this again. No, wait. No, 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 no. Um, build mode here. Yeah, this, this, I still needed to do this here. There you go. <laughs> Crush. <laughs> nice one. All right, we did it. And we were below the limit for the batch. So this is nice. That looked fun. The kinetic energy was successfully deployed. And I might add quite ex at that. Mission completed and we got the batch. Perfect. Nice. Um, I'm enjoying this a lot. This is, um, yeah, pretty cool. Things were getting hairy and our death from above plan was hardly risk-free. Miles was not pleased. Good things come in threes. What do you say we try this plan again? Maybe give it a little more kick? Miles, steer them over there and we'll crush them. I've had it with this plan. I'm too damn old to keep playing the cheese in your mousetrap. Relax. I'll suck it up and be the bait this time. Get ready for some shock and awe, y'all. Okay. Start another mission. Uh, send the walkers into and Kyra, Kira, I'm not sure. Kira? I'm not sure how this would be pronounced, I guess. I'm gonna switch between Kyra and Kira randomly. <laughs> and Kyra safely over the pit. Okay. So... In missions where more than one hero is involved, you can switch between heroes. Each one has their own set of commands for each waypoint. Okay. Each hero's waypoint is assigned its own color to help you tell them apart. For example, Kira's color is always yellow. Make sure that the correct waypoint and hero are selected when assigning your commands. For additional guidance to survive in the bridge constructor, the Walking Dead universe, check out the constructor's guide to the apocalypse in the level menu. Um, okay. Constructor's Guide. You can use the Start with the Dialogues button to re-enter a mission, showing all of its dialogue. Okay. Save and load up to five of your solutions for a mission. Okay. Simulate often and early to get acquainted with the game's mechanics. Failures are also a lot of fun. Okay. Yeah, I saw that. Um, okay. Cool. Then... Uh, Let's get back to it. Okay. So we can zoom in. That's nice. Um, so we need to get over here, I guess. Uh, what's... Well, they both need to reach A, but what exactly is uh, Miles' purpose in this mission? Oh, I need to select Miles first. Ah, okay. Got it. So what will Miles do here? Um, let's see what happens when Miles does that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, the question is what does Miles do after that? Just go back. <laughs> okay. Well, Kyra's dead and rolled over by the spool. But hey, the zombies are dead too. I'm almost successful here. <laughs> um, okay, well, was was a, a good first attempt. Not really, but um, let's see. So we activated the spool that is actually enough to get rid of those zombies, but how do we get in there? Um, stop it! I don't want this to run. How can I... How can I not have it run? Uh, can I assign something like this? Ah, here I can assign. This is the run mode, so of course it's running. Okay. Um, ah, there's a ladder to get up there then. Uh, 
but if I build a ladder over there, how can the spool crush the zombies? I uh, don't quite get that. But hey, let's uh, construct something, I guess. Um... If I do this, I suppose the spool will crush the bridge. Will it be after I crossed it? That would be nice. Um, I guess it might actually work like this. Let's see. Run! Oh, well, <laughs> not quite. Hmm. Okay. Um, maybe if we build something for the spool to um, like go at a different angle. We could try this. Yeah, I think this works. <laughs> Yay, I did it. <laughs> All right, this is this is fun. You've got a lot of nerve sending me over that rickety ass bridge. I sincerely beg your pardon, but let me assure you that your physical well-being was at no point, under no circumstances, during this operation in jeopardy. Well, only in the simulation. <laughs> Even the most pessimistic of predictions had your probability of survival at the high 80s. In the high 80s. Hear that, Kyra? High 80s! How can you stay mad after, ga after he gave us his word? Mm. Anyway, at least we can move on from this particularly death, a particular death trap now. There must be an exit somewhere around here. Mission completed. And we got the batch two. That's nice. Crushed and stirred. Alright, next one. We weren't out of the woods yet. This warehouse was a maze and every step threatened to be our last. All this noise is like a mating call for those bastards. They're swarming the halls. I told you a hundred, a hundred times, the warehouse is full of yummy stuff and not so yummy walkers. Let's move out. Smarty pants, back me up here. Considering the increasingly volatile situation, I'd propose locating a route to a safe exit post haste. A simple structure should allow me to traverse the gap and reach the ladders. Okay, I shall then utilize a hideous speaking doll to gather the enemies in one spot. This mockery of a human voice, modified by yours truly, is to be noisy as all get out, uh, would wake the dead. Um, it'll get their attention. Okay, the proverbial cherry on top shall be yet another death from above solution provided by yet another ISO intermodal container. Okay. Um, drop the container onto the walkers and get Eugene to the finish area A. Okay, can do, will do. 
Um, another chance to crush some walkers under a giant container. Unfortunately, they are not currently in a good position for crushing. Luckily, some characters have exclusive additional commands that they can execute at waypoints. Eugene's special command is to throw a speaking doll. It attracts nearby walkers for the duration of the mission. Okay. Next to Eugene's portrait, you will find the number of dolls available for this mission. Okay, so Eugene's special command is represented by this icon in the waypoint menu. Okay, got it. Um, well, then let's put it here already. Um, throw the doll. And adjust the doll's throwing trajectory with this handle. Try it now. Um, this should work, I guess. Okay, yeah, this is good. And move up and don't go down there. Oh, yeah, do go down there, but only later. Uh, so the next time you're here, you want to go down, actually. But first here, you're going to operate this thing and then go down. Here you're gonna go to the right and then that should be it. Now to the construction part. Um, This is too much. Can we somehow? This is less. This should still still be stable, right? <laughs> I'm sure it'll be stable. Maybe I can even make it 50 below. That's awesome. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, this is so stable. It's not even like moving at all. Yay! <laughs> Crushed walkers for dinner, I suppose. Don't eat crushed walkers. <laughs> yeah, easy. Apropos of nothing but our escalating situation, why haven't you skipped town already? Miles ain't good with change in general. Took me long enough to get him out of the basement where he was hiding. Nothing good ever came of change. World was O-A-OK -okay before this shit. You see the problem? Let's get a move on. Alright, got the batch. So, on to the next mission. We kept turning walkers into pig feet. The one good thing since Eugene came along. But there still was no end to this complex and we were wondering if we'd ever see daylight again. Okay. Get it, Eugene. It's a proven plan, but I still don't like the way that container is tipping over. According to elementary physics, your survival is near guaranteed if you maintain a minimum average speed of 5.5 miles per hour. Better make it 6. Safety trumping regret. Uh, safety trumping regret when it comes to preferred outcomes. You're a fun guy. Miles, if I don't make it, shove him mullet first into the next gang of walkers. Sure, Miles will do that. Right, edge case. <laughs> this is a movable container with, a construct uh, with construction points on it. You can build a weighted attachment to set it in motion. Okay. Wooden planks are three times heavier than wooden struts. Play around with different pieces and find the perfect timing to topple the container. Okay. Um, so you mean I can build something like this here? And now I could make this wooden stuff and see what happens. Hmm, okay, so it will tip over, but it takes a while. <laughs> well, the, the walkers just die on their own, so that's fine. 
Um, but, well, okay, so does the, the character who shouldn't die, Kyra. Okay, well... Crap, can't reach. No. Ah, too far away. Can I somehow reach? I don't think I can with only two pieces. That's sad. But okay. Oh no, I'm already using too much wood. Crap, that's not good. What happens if I do it like this? <laughs> I doubt it will hold, but let's try, I guess. Uh, yeah, not not stable. Okay, back to building. that this will be stable but let's try it like this maybe I don't know eh, now it's not even tipping over at all okay this is too much wood <laughs> ah. hmm this is stable Crap, missed one. Alright. Maybe if I just change the positioning of this. Does this change anything? No, obviously it makes more sense to have it further out. Okay, yeah. Physics, complicated stuff. Come on. Ah, okay, here we go. Uh, all right, this would still be in, in batch territory. Let's see. Why does Kyra look like this? Ah, okay, looked looked a bit weird from from far away, like a zombie, but uh, or Walker. But uh, this worked, <laughs> and we got the batch. So yay. That was a little too close for comfort, Eugene, but I guess I'll think about letting you live. Enough bickering, children. This way. Great. Uh, what have you found now? Another hall full of walkers, complete with containers ready to tip over and pulverize us. Even better, an exit. Sounds good. 1-6 edge case completed. We got the batch barely, but we got it. So uh, on to the next one. It was good to breathe fresh air again, but that was about the only positive development. Walking was risky and wore us out something fierce, but without a car it was our only option. Okay. I see a van down that hill. Reckon it'd make a good ride. What are we gonna do about those walkers though? Can we please, for once, come up with a plan that won't mangle us to bits if we make a tiny mistake? Euripides said, the best and safest thing is to keep balance in your life. We shall construct accordingly. I think that's Eugene 4. Let's get a move on. 1-7. In the balance. Build a bridge so the, so the group can safely reach the other side. Batch requirements less than 2200 wooden planks. All right, start the mission and uh, you've got a new material to work with, cable. It's good for lightweight connections over long distances. Careful though, it can support joints from the bottom. Okay. 
Another thing to note, there's no construction point on the right hand side of the gap to fully attach your bridge. Great. Try ending the bridge somewhere near the latch on the right hand side. Heroes can climb or hop over little gaps. That's good to know. Okay. Um, what's this thing up here? I'm, I'm slightly confused. Guess it's just something to connect my bridge to, but why does it have... Maybe I need to balance it so that it doesn't tip over to this side. Probably. All right. Um, is this close enough? Sure, you can make that jump. So... <laughs> Not sure if that's the intended way. Um, probably not, but uh, let's see what happens. <laughs> okay, yeah, totally stable. <laughs> uh, crap, okay, well, seems like we have to attach something to this side. Let's see what happens now. Eh, it's still tipping and they're still falling, so that's not great. But we'll get there, I'm sure. ignoring this thing up there. <laughs> Let's see if that works. I guess I'll have to connect it somehow to the top there. should at least be able to land on it, so that's a start. Um, <laughs> somehow doubt that this will be enough, but we'll see. Um, but we definitely need to put some weight on this side. Mm, that's too, too much. Let's see if this is enough. I suppose not. Crap. Okay. Nah. Uh. <laughs> uh, well, at least Kyra is still alive, chilling with this uh, this walker over here. Okay. Um. I, I knew a thing I knew a thing or two about physics. I guess it makes sense to have it more on the bottom here, not so much on the top there. 
Um, should make sense. Does make sense, right? I hope it does. Mm, not like this. Crap. Hmm. What happens if we take... Nah, this won't work. Crap. What happens if we do that? Does that hold it together? I just see if this works at all. Well, <laughs> definitely a lot better than before, but not quite. Hmm. Uh. This is far too much. I really want that badge. Yeah, this was not a good idea, I guess. This doesn't help. Hmm. Okay, this seems to work. But uh, we used way too much... Uh, oh! Ah, okay. Uh, there's also the kill counter. We don't need to kill them, though. Uh, I really want to figure this out. Do it without... Um, using too much wood. That would be amazing. All right, I've tried a lot of things, but sadly I couldn't reach the goal here. Couldn't get below 2,200 pieces. Um, yeah, it just didn't work out. Oh, wait a second. Do I actually need this here? This doesn't do anything, does it? Probably not. Well, that makes things a lot simpler. I'm so close to getting below 2200. Okay, let's get this. No, I've said finish. Ah, stupid me. Ah, well, uh, we can do that again. Funny how people just leave their keys in the car. Very convenient. Less talk, more ignition. Chop, chop. Here goes. Hmm, gas tank must be empty. Nothing we can do about that here. Uh, maybe we should ask that dude on the motorcycle if he knows where to find some fuel. What dude? What motorcycle? I haven't seen anyone. Yeah, there's a big surprise. Let's get a move on. I'm sure we can find gas somewhere. Ah, yeah, there's a big surprise. Let's get a move on. I'm sure we can find gas somewhere. Mission completed. Sadly, we didn't meet the requirements, so let's do that again. Okay, we can still redo this. Um... We don't need, need to change much. I mean, this would be enough. Does this still work? Please still work. <laughs> that would be so awesome. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No. <laughs> Seriously. Ah, crap. Well, uh, what if I just take that whole thing out? Nope, not like that. Still no, tipping too quickly. What if I put another thing up here? Well, that's too much. This would be okay. Come on. Nope. This, this has to be possible. I mean, it is possible. It's definitely not doing it the, the ideal way. Hmm, this might be an idea. Yeah, this might work. This should make it a lot heavier. Hmm, looks good, looks good, looks... Not good enough. Crap. Um... work. Try this already. We might have... Oh, crap. Mm. 
Hmm, this doesn't look too bad. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! <sighs> I, uh, I don't think this was even close to the intended way, but I don't care. <laughs> it worked. I, I'll figure physics out next time. Um, I'm good. <laughs> I mean, with this mission, if there's more to 1-X, then I'll continue, but let's see. Mission completed, we got the badge. Sadly, we didn't kill all the zombies, but that's okay, I suppose. Next one. Are we now in 2-something, or...? The three of us weren't gonna last much longer on foot. Miles was grimly determined, pushing us forward. At least he acted like he knew where we were going. I hate to be the voice of reason here, but where exactly are we heading? What's the plan? Follow our destiny? Just hit the road and see where the wind takes us? No, there's a plan. Oh, great. Care to share? Anything to shut you up. There's a rest area, off the interstate, just up this road a ways. Used to service all the buses, take in folks up and down the coast. Maybe we can score some gas there. If you say so. Keep walking. I would conjecture that this rest area continues to be popular among the bus enthusiast crowd. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. And the fact that they have all expired does not seem to have put a damper on said enthusiasm. If anything, it has intensified. Crap. On the bright side, probably, probably lots of gas in those abandoned vehicles. There appears to be a man on the balcony of the motel. Common courtesy would dictate we include him in any plans to send these wayward travelers to their final rest. Ah, Daryl. Hey there, what are we waiting for? Good question. Help the stranger reach the finish area. Okay, we are still in 1-something. Operation Elderly. 1-8 it is. Okay, let's see. Heroes can actually kill a few enemies with melee attacks, but this requires stamina. If their stamina fully depletes during a fight, they'll be overwhelmed by the enemy. Okay. Um, heroes can fight while they're climbing, stumbling, or lying on the floor. Moreover, heroes will only kill enemies when meeting them head-on. They're vulner vulnerable to enemies approaching from behind. That stranger looks tough. He shouldn't have a problem eliminating the few walkers ahead of him. The large group on the floor needs a different approach. Okay. Um, so we have a doll, but huh. ah, yeah, I think we can maybe throw the doll over here, connect these two things, and then the walkers will push this forward, and then this will tip the diner thing over. That should work, right? Let's see. Connect the two. Um, Eugene. Uh, this is your spot, I guess. Or is it not? I don't know. Ah, okay, I need to go to planning mode. That makes sense. So when you go here, you will use your dolly and throw it over there. Right, and then you go to the left. Okay, well, let's see if that works while Daryl will inevitably fall and die. <laughs> but that's okay for now. It's just a simulation. Don't, don't. Oh, we can't throw it over, I suppose. Uh, or at least we didn't. Um, so that's not good. Let's see. Can we throw it higher? Over? Yeah, we can. Okay. Um, let's see where it lands when I do this. At least it wouldn't land up here. And 
Maybe this works, let's see. You're a very good thrower. Yeah, that worked. Guess they're kinda all dead, I don't know. Uh, at least enough should be dead. Okay, let's build a bridge for Daryl. Eh, better a wooden bridge, not just a rope. Alright, let's see. Um, nope. <laughs> let's put some some planks on there. <laughs> okay, let's see. Ah, crap, now the bridge is in the way. Uh, still, does it work? Do they react? Uh, just uh, go down, I guess. I really don't know, let's see. Okay. Um, hmm. Ah, okay, I get it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. don't even need this I think I can just build a I mean I need the bridge obviously but I don't need to have wooden connections I can just put a, a string between multiple strings let's see is this no nah, it's getting too heavy I suppose huh well that's not good but we could also just connect these here. That's better. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, this did not quite work out, but let's see. We are also over our budget, so that's not great, but uh, for now let's just figure something out here. Um, happens if I just throw it in there. Mm, not enough sadly. Mm, guess Daryl died. Um, work or will it land on the top nope it won't but it still doesn't do the trick maybe this will work I don't know um, let's restart this Ah, we had that. Crap. <laughs> Can I just knock it over with the thing? <laughs> that would be funny. Mm. 
No, that doesn't do anything. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> they are so distracted that Daryl could just take them all out, which is nice. But now we still can't get through here, so that's not ideal. <sighs> Can Daryl pick the doll up? That would be interesting. Maybe that's possible. Um, Oh, let me plan. Um, probably not though, right? I mean, that's... Let's see, maybe it works. Get it just to see that it's possible to fight. is enough if it's up there maybe they'll still walk over here nah, let's try that I suppose is weird oh okay I'm in the wrong spot <laughs> you're not ever gonna be over there this is not what I wanted to do here we go it's close enough yes it is okay yeah it gets smashed that's not good but we can we can work on that all right we got it i think all right this should work hmm, one zombie is still alive crouching down there <laughs> Okay, hmm, now to see if we can do it without, um, without using too much wood. What happens if we do something like, I don't know, something like this? Probably won't work right. This doesn't look stable at all. <laughs> and we're, yeah, already above budget, but whatever, let's see. Ooh, maybe it does work. Interesting. Huh. Still one zombie alive down there. I don't like that, but um, we're almost there. This would be okay. Can you do that? I think this should work. I don't like this zombie staying alive, but nah. 
It is what it is. Good, good jump. Well done. All right, we got the badge. That's uh, that's all right. I wish I had gotten that last walker, but it's okay. Okay, I think achievement unlocked, deadland achievement unlocked, penny pincher. Not sure what those mean, um, but this might be the end of the first act. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so we got the badge. Let's continue. All right. Thanks for the help. Thought I was a goner. Name's Daryl. I can't imitate Daryl's voice either. <laughs> Obviously. Uh, I'm Miles, from the town just down the road. So the pretty one, Kyra. Other gentleman is... I know Eugene, he's with me. We got separated a ways back. Guessing he's the one who cooked up that crazy ass rescue. Glad to help you boys reunite, but now we gotta get out of here. Reckon we could get one of those vehicles over there running? Where are you all headed? Open road, town spent, hoping to find somewhere better. You wanna come along? We gotta get back to our people, but we can go in the same direction for a while. At least until I find another ride. I do believe this Mudley crew of individuals is embarking on a journey that will forge a long-lasting and meaningful relationship. Sure thing. Yes, we're in chapter two, Hard Commute. All right, so I suppose this means that uh, this is where today's episode ends. Um, I'm happy that I somehow found solutions to all the bridge puzzles uh, uh, with uh, yeah the limited supplies to get all the batches. I'm actually a bit surprised that it worked out. Um, guess I have to uh, improve my my physical thinking uh, if that is a thing but uh, yeah this was fun this is really cool I like it a lot and I'm looking forward to the next episode I hope you enjoyed this as well if you did please leave a thumbs up and maybe consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that notification button and um, yeah um, you could also leave a comment down below that would be awesome uh, if you didn't like it, feel free to leave a thumbs down and maybe also a comment telling me what you didn't like. And um, yeah, if you like, you could also subscribe to me on, uh, or like follow me on, on Twitch and Twitter, frequently tweeting, not frequently live streaming at the moment, but I'll get back to it at some point. Um, and yeah, I think that's all. So um, I appreciate you watching. Uh, I hope you'll tune in for the next episode. I think I want to keep playing this game. It's really cool. I like it a lot, as I've mentioned. So yeah, I guess there will be a next episode. <laughs> so that's all for today. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again next time. Until then, take care. Bye.